Welcome back everybody, this is Madden, and today we take a look at La Narium. So I haven't posted much in the, in the last few days, uh, for a good reason. Um, but yeah, without a, a good, um, without a good uh, script right for now, for now, <laughs> I'm kind of helpless here right now, uh, trying to focus on what to say. Um, <laughs> so I won't go over the um, the the stuff that I did. Uh, of course, we have a new map. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful new map. Um, let's dive just a few moments into it and then I will just cover the last few days and then I will just abruptly cut myself off and let you go uh, all into the time lapse and then we will take a, a quick uh, yeah, look onto the map in game. Then. So the map itself, um, let me pull up a few images from myself so I can also talk about it. <laughs> uh, Without a script, I'm so horrible. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we have um, a wonderful desert theme. Um, on this one, I tried to, uh, a lot around with the terraces and the taluses, um, which are two different things um, around uh, generating terrain. So for the first thing, uh, I tried to um, go around and try to figure out a new way to make dunes, which seems more or less um, kind of obvious dunes yeah just make it dude <laughs> but the way you do approach it in uh, in the uh, in the Gaia software is kind of special um because you are so limited into the space factor it's quite kind of hard to get the size down and get it to feel right and have it the same uh, the, the right size basically and in my view or my opinion i didn't uh, get the the detail or the sharpness or just uh, the just the mass right as I wished I wish it to be the the sentence are quite covering everything across the map that's how I uh, manage, imagined it and it was quite um, successful in the end but it's not it's a, it's it's on the way to it uh, how I wish it to be uh, I had one version that was really awesome but the proportion were so out of touch that is just it Imaginable. So I went ahead, uh, did a new version, and uh, made it completely from scratch up. So there was quite a lot of work. Another thing that I um, worked on was the mountain styles. I tried to make as many or as harsh terraces as possible, um, which got more or less hardly eroded and got a nasty fall off. So I need to figure out a new way uh, to do uh, to do those terraces because they are way too smooth in my opinion. They resulted in a, uh, in a wonderful few ways of uh, making the erosions pop, um, which I really like. So that's that's a plus. Um, but yeah, so this is more <laughs> like most of my maps. This is a prototype map. I see all my maps as prototype maps. Some of them uh, are more fancy, some of them are not as fancy, and some of them might be yeah, just what they are, just just maps. Um, but yeah, I release every map of mine, or I try to release every map of mine, because maybe I don't like it, but for some uh, somebody out of um, out, out there in the internet, and uh, somebody of you, um, that might see, see this map as perfect for their project. So I don't like it maybe, but you might uh, find it awesome. So I won't I won't waste it and throw it away and just gonna polish it and uh, make it finish. And um, anyway, however uh, the map turned out at the end, um, it's a win for me because I learned a few new things, um, especially with the new Dune setups. Uh, where went through a new system of making those and basically getting a new system set up. The last thing that uh, the last thing that I want to talk about today is 
um, the last week has been really stressful for me. And I'm really bad at coping with stress, unfortunately. So I try to minimize my workload as much as possible to avoid stress for me. So therefore you see only a, a two to three videos per a week. <clears throat> oh, my voice, whoops. So two, uh, two videos a week is for me, or sorry, three, uh, around about three weeks. Three videos <laughs> a week is it's kind of the goal for me um, to not overwork myself. That hasn't uh, worked out uh, in the last week too well because I got, uh, yeah, I quite a bit stressed out in the last few days. So the first week was really stressful and it took me and that's yeah from from the beginning of the month uh, till now. So it took me if at least seven, eight, nine days to calm down and get my head uh, clear again to basically work again. And I don't know how to cope with it and, uh, for some reason. I have really trouble with um, dealing with stress. And this is quite a problem for me where I try to avoid as much stress as possible. Um, I don't have a final solution. The, the solutions that worked in the past um, are not really viable right now for me. Um, because So my go-to uh, version was just sport, uh, mostly cycling, mountain biking or with the uh, race cycle. And that since there these two are broken down <laughs> which is so sad i want to uh, to drive them again um with with these are eliminated from the options list i have only running maybe swimming but this is also a no-go currently and another thing yeah everything else is just so expensive in uh, in my area so there's no uh, go around anything other than uh, uh, working or running. And the ma main problem that I had uh, over this over the winter was that I limited myself um, on the food and uh, s stuff supply so hard that my uh, body suffered so hard and I kind of blacked out uh, quite easily when doing sports. So I had to limit this off. So I'm getting um, off this or trying to regain my strength right now to clear up my mind and make a sport again but yeah so this is uh yeah one of the reasons why one week or a bit more uh, of no videos were uh or came up so maybe you can uh, let me know what anything other than uh, eating healthy that i'm do uh, doing and restarting right now and um sport of course uh, what else have you coping with uh, immense stress and how you or what techniques are you using? So what generally be interested in this? Anyway, um, I talked a, a lot much for this episode. Um, I went a bit more off script just just uh, talking out of my out of my heart <laughs> without my script and yeah so I will let uh, this run and we will see us in game. Alright, welcome back. So, um, this is the world from in-game. So we are uh, currently on Bedrock. Bedrock enables me to um, view with my current uh, PC setup to yeah, basically get a, a feeling for the whole uh, scenery and everything on, on this map. So, apo apologize <laughs> my, um, yeah, on my side, uh, that we don't have currently um, shaders enabled. So we can take a look in, uh, with the shaders in a second. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick uh, look around w um, what the home world feels and how I see it. Um, so this gives a good visualization um, how I feel about the map and basically what it means to me, more or less. <laughs> So of course we have a few um, small bits and bytes here that I'm more or less unsure about. Um, of course, most of the uh, of the stuff is procedural, so not everything is uh, is hand painted or decided if I did it. So for example, there are small pieces that are determined as 45 degree or as 50 degree angle. So yeah, 
There are a few um, decisions made by War Painter uh, that I don't agree with, but um, actually this turned out pretty well. So I'm uh, pretty glad. Uh, the, the sandstone was a happy accident, I would say. Um, I originally planned to go with a full sand uh, desert map style. Um, so we would have the normal sand and we would have the, the red sand on the hills. Uh, and I tried to figure out if I could make it more or less a challenge map. So this would be a, another theme or topic then for the next month that I would, I would tackle more specifically. But um, yeah, I rearranged it and uh, made it back to, to grass so that this map would have some uh, replay or play value in my opinion. And yeah, there is uh, plenty of stuff going on. Um, something that I noticed when I when switching back to uh, to grass with the desert uh, or with the red desert um, on the angles, uh, Robert there included these sandstones. I, don't have, I didn't or I wasn't able to exclude it in the first place. Uh, the sandstone walls, so I included uh, the uh, the basalt or the steep slopes and they uh, yeah basically um, mix them up uh, together forming all of these beautiful generations and I'm I'm quite happy with it uh, it it gives the sandstone this red sandstone look of course um, it gives also a new um, with, the, with this bleached out grass style, we ha have also a different color or a new color, a more vibrant one that helps out with the style. So I'm quite happy about this. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, another thing that I included for this map um, as a little hotfix, uh, because we don't have uh, too many things uh, on this world, I included um, most of the um, of the base stuff that we would need. Uh, unfortunately, there are not the eggs for some reason. Yeah, I will include this in later. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is more or less the world. I encourage you to uh, explore them, um, have fun with them, and maybe share one of two pictures uh, on the words what you have done uh, on it. Okay. I wish everybody a wonderful day. This is Madden and I am out.